Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm going to be trashing these tomato plants. They are dying off, and it's the end of the season. I mean, we're in December, and it's getting too cold. We've had a couple cold spells, and it just killed them off. But they produced quite a bit of fruit for us, so it is just the time to get rid of them. I'm also gonna be amending the soil as well, but a really easy way, and I'll bring you guys along and show you what to do. And as you can see, these plants are worth nothing now. Um, <laughs> they're just dying back, uh, completely dead. But I am gonna pick the fruit off of it and let them finish ripening inside. Now, let's just pull these cages off. I'm gonna bring this over to the burn pile over here. And it'll just go up with flames once I do that. I'll do the same thing with this. Try to shake, uh, shake all the dirt off as best as we can. So basically these tomatoes completely used up all this soil, right? They lived in it for a while, used up all the nutrients. I mean, we added some here and there, but for the most part, it's mostly used up. So these will not grow much because there's no nutrients. But I hate to waste. We're gonna rejuvenate the soil the easy way. Yep, you guessed it. I'm gonna let the chickens scratch it up. So if I throw this dirt in a little kiddie pool, the chickens love to scratch around in it, pick out any bugs and whatnot. So I'm just gonna dump it out. And I'll do that with every single one of these. Got all those roots coming out the bottom. There's some healthy plants at one point. Now, tomatoes are poisonous. Um, they are a nightshade. So, but I, I haven't ever noticed that the birds eat the roots. They usually peck around for bugs. They might try it here and there, but they're smart enough to know not to eat it. So I feel safe about it. I've never lost a chicken doing this, but keep that in mind. So if you're growing something that is a nightshade where the plant itself is poisonous, but not the fruit. Oh, I got a hole. In that pot but these are reusable I can reuse these pots and now I am gonna lose a little bit of this dirt it's gonna come out go on the ground around here because they're gonna scratch it out of here but it's not gonna be that much I lose and this is a really easy way to get the nutrients back into this soil now one thing I will mention is it's not quick this takes a while so we're gonna let them scratch around in it for about a month and then I'm going to let it sit for another about two months and let that really kind of decompose so we're not introducing too fresh of nutrients to the soil because fresh chicken poop is a little too hot and will burn your plants. There we go. They're going to scratch around and have a good time. And now I can just take these bags, reuse them. I'm going to stick them under my porch here for a little bit until I can reuse them and I'll be using them soon. I plan on planting some lettuce and stuff in some bags. So I'll fill those up with soil and use it with brand new soil. Keep in mind, if you do this, always remember what you planted in your dirt last. So this is tomatoes. So I cannot plant tomatoes, peppers, potatoes. Potatoes. Anything in the nightshade family. So a really good rule of thumb is probably for a year after planting tomatoes, then only plant things like lettuce. Basically anything that's not gonna be affected by the same diseases. Well, there we go, guys. I hope that was informative and helpful. And if you like this kind of content, boy, noisy, huh? If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and also hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.